Hello and welcome to Total Health with Dr. Nick, where my purpose is to inspire, empower, and motivate you to live longer, healthier, and more abundant lives. And today's video is all about the disease-fighting benefits of curcumin. Now, the two top disease killers in the world right now are heart disease and cancer. So this isn't something that maybe could affect your lives. This is something that will infect pretty much most of our lives. So this is something that we really need to pay attention to because it can get very costly, very expensive. And to be honest with you, these are two diseases you don't want to get even if they do come up with a cure for. Because the problem is many times the cures are very dangerous. Medications, chemo, and things like that. So what if there was a spice that you could take that was actually very inexpensive that can actually prevent or even reverse this? So that's what we're going to be talking about today is the amazing benefits of curcumin or curcumin, however you like to pronounce it, as far as its disease fighting capabilities. Now, if you get a chance, go back and watch two of the videos I did prior to this. One was on anti-aging of curcumin and the other one was also on weight loss. So you want to check those out too. And guys, if you like what we're talking about, make sure you like, you share, you comment and subscribe. Make sure you click that little bell notification so you get notified every time I do a video so you don't miss a single one. And hey, if you're looking to for some extra information on how to get in the best shape of your life and you want information about the keto course and the keto diet that we provide for our patients and our clients and all of our subscribers, check it out right in the description below. You'll also find out our information about our cookbook. So if you want information on that, all of that's right down below in the description. So let's go ahead and get started with the disease-fighting benefits of curcumin. So I want to first start off with cancer, and there's actually about seven different mechanisms that curcumin can use to fight cancer, but there's actually a lot of growing information and documentation and research out there supporting this. A growing body of literature is documenting curcumin's ability to treat and prevent cancer, especially lung, colon, and prostate. So those are the three I'm going to be talking about today and some of the research that goes along with that. So first, let's talk about lung cancer. In the first study, curcumin supplementation was supplied to strains of mice injected with cells from human non-small cell lung cancer, the leading cause of cancer-related death. Compared with mice fed a controlled diet, supplemented mice demonstrated a significant 36% reduction in the size of the lung tumors. In addition, their chances of survival increased by nearly threefold, and that's according to the Journal of Nutritional Biochemistry. So this was very significant because just by adding a little bit of curcumin, a spice, they were able to reduce the size of the tumors by 36% and increase the chance of the mice survival by threefold. Now in a second study concerning colon tumors, curcumin supplementation significantly reduced by 40% the number of colon tumors in mice. The decrease in tumors was accompanied by significant drops in markers of inflammation and slowed proliferation of cells. So not only did the cell numbers decrease or slow down, the inflammation also decreased. And that's a huge finding because inflammation is one of the key factors or key markers when we start to look at chronic disease. Now another article in Inflammatory Bowel Disease said this, curcumin supplementation completely eliminated tumors, increased survival, and demonstrated microscopic improvements in the animal's colons. So once again, guys, this is something as simple as a spice, curcumin, which is found in turmeric, which by the way, in my previous videos, I talked about where turmeric and curcumin come from. Turmeric is basically, it looks like ginger, and it's from the southeastern parts of Asia and India, and it's been used in spices and cooking for a millennium, I mean, a long, long time. So it gives foods that orange color. So this is something you can easily get in the stores. I'm gonna include a link down below so you can check out one of the supplements I recommend, but you could also go online and find anything that you would like to get too. But once again, this is something you can easily add to your diet through cooking or supplementation that will make a profound effect in your overall health and fighting heart disease and cancer. Finally, in mice bearing human prostate cancers, 30 days of curcumin supplementation significantly reduced the tumor volume and weight by inhibiting cancer cell growth. The mechanisms appeared related to curcumin's upregulation of genes that inhibit tumors and downregulation of genes that promote tumors. Now that's something we talk about all the time as far as what we call epigenetics. And this is something we do in our office. We're able to take genetic DNA samples of patients, have it sent off to a lab, be able to get the results back, 
and then tell patients what they can do in their own lifestyles that can cause either gene expression to be turned up or turned off. So this is huge because epigenetics is the cutting edge of neuroscience when it comes to overall human optimal performance and health because when you can epigenetically, now let me explain to you what that means really quickly. Epigenetics means above the gene. So epi means above and genetics or the gene is obviously the gene. So there are things that can influence your genes. See, you're not a victim of your genes. You've been taught by doctors through years and years, decades, that you are a victim of your genes, that if you have the genes for heart disease or cancer or diabetes, you're just gonna get it, it's your lot in life. Well guys, that's not true. You can actually change how your genes are expressed by changing your lifestyle. You see, your lifestyle dictates whether genes for heart disease or cancer are turned on or off. So this is a huge finding in the International Journal of Clinical Experimentation and Pathology. Curcumin has also been found to slow growth of prostate cancer in mice by 27% compared with unsupplemented controls. So the evidence is, is powerful and it goes on and on. The benefits of taking curcumin, or even if you just take it in the form of turmeric, they're both gonna be beneficial for you. Now this next finding is huge also because of curcumin's effect on angiogenesis, and that means the formation of new blood cells. So what a tumor needs to grow, in order to be able to grow quickly, because tumors are rapidly growing cells, they need a blood supply. If they can't get the blood supply, they can't grow. So one of the things that research is showing now is by reducing that blood supply, you can inhibit cancer cell growth or tumor growth. So over here, we see a, a capillary, for example. Here we see this bud. We see these angiogenic factors. The tumor cells, get this, can actually secrete these angiogenic factors when they're in the vicinity of a capillary, causing the capillary to bud and then when it buds it actually starts to form new new shoots in a way and it basically then supplies the tumor cells when the tumor cells get enough adequate blood supply they're able to then metastasize and spread throughout the body well one thing that curcumin can do is it can blunt that it can help stop or prevent these angiogenic growths and by doing that they're actually starving the cancer cells now, when it comes to heart disease, one of the biggest factors is the endothelial cells. And the endothelial cells are the cells within the linings of the coronary arteries. According to basic research in cardiology, endothelial dysfunction is a major driver of heart disease and involves the inability of your endothelium to regulate blood pressure, blood clotting, and various other factors. Perhaps the main benefit of curcumin for heart disease is improving the function of the endothelium. So once again, the endothelium is the lining inside the arteries. And as we know, biggest factors that cause heart attacks are when the arteries become clogged, the widowmaker, many of the other arteries, about five major arteries that go to the heart. So if we can help prevent the endothelial lining from becoming dysfunctional, you can help prevent heart disease. And an article published in Nutritional Research, we're talking about the endothelial cells again. Several studies suggest that curcumin leads to improvements in endothelial function. One study found that it's as effective as exercise, while another study shows that it works as well as the drug atorvastatin. So anytime we could take something as simple as curcumin or turmeric and eliminate having to take a drug as serious as a statin drug like that, you are way ahead of the game because statin drugs have been proven to have too many side effects. In fact, in my opinion, they're not worth the risk. And finally, according to the American Journal of Cardiology, in addition, curcumin reduces inflammation and oxidation. And that's probably some of the biggest factors. We've talked about this. If you can reduce inflammation in your body, you've got the best chance of beating heart disease, cancer, and many other diseases of the body. One study randomly assigned 121 people who were undergoing coronary artery bypass surgery either a placebo or four grams of curcumin per day, a few days before and after the surgery. The curcumin group had a 65% decreased risk of experiencing a heart attack in the hospital. So guys, these are major studies, major findings. If this isn't convincing you, along with the previous videos I did on why you should be taking curcumin or turmeric on a regular basis in your diet, then I didn't do my job. But anyway, I hope I did. So guys, I hope you love the information. If so, make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. Share this information out with some of your friends that you know could benefit. 
who is suffering with heart disease or cancer or any of the other diseases we talked about. And guys, before you go, make sure you check out my other videos. If you like this one, you're going to love the other ones too. Guys, I love and appreciate you. Have a blessed day, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.